what's up welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i made this melody that's on the screen for you right now and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it let's get straight into it so before i show you guys how i made this melody i'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys All right, so that's the main gist of the sample. You can see that there's a few more elements, but we'll cover that when we break it down. So first we started with this cool little vocal melody idea that we had. We just recorded it on our phone, on the little voice memo app in our bathroom. And uh, yeah, this is like the little part that we kind of looped over. I don't understand. So the way I found the scale, I actually just played these uh, piano notes. And then uh, we just found out what scale we're in. We were in G minor. If you don't know how to do that and your ears are not trained enough to do that, which is perfectly fine, I would recommend recording to like a melody that you do know the scale of and then just taking that recording and then making your own melody in FL Studio around that. I think there's like VSTs like Melodyne and stuff like that that you can use to find the scale out or yeah, something like that. All right, so the very first thing that we did to these vocals was we changed the sample rate from 44,100 to 5,500. And what that does is it just cuts out a bunch of frequencies and uh yeah that's what it sounds like I don't understand. and these takes are not the best i know that autotune definitely saved me here god bless after that we just chopped it up make sure everything's on time we just had that same part loop over and over and uh these are the effects that we added on so we have a little bit of alter boy we changed the format or whatever and then we got a cool little band pass and they were aq around 700 hertz just cutting some highs and shit out. And then we have some shit boosting highs and then taking away frequencies we didn't like. Okay. And then we have ambience and these are the settings for that. And then we have flanges. We got vault holler reverb. We got CLA two way just to keep the volume up. And then we have this cool management thing where it side chains it. And that's the final product. So this section is called an effects chain right here. And what you can do is you can have all these effects and just have it as a preset. So how you can do that is we're on mixer track one. So we just go to the first one, go to file, then we go to save mixer track state as, or you can do shift control S as you see up at the top. And uh, you can also drag it to other channels like I just did. And then you won't have to go to each VST and load each preset that you made. So hopefully that saves you guys some time in the future if you didn't know about that. So after we did the vocal part, we uh, looped it, chopped it on time, and we added these cool chords. And for the chords, all we did was add this cool little side chain thing that kind of gives the chords a little movement. The chords already sounded nice. I just played it on the MIDI keyboard. I really just found the scale, started on the bass note, and then I just, you know, was messing around. After that, we got this cool little bass line right here. Super simple, crazy simple. All we did for this one was cut the highs out because it sounds crazy without it. Sounds cool, but it's just a little overwhelming. And then we added these cool little perks from Nami's kit and we just reversed it, stretched the time to match ours. And then we cut out, we did a band pass narrow EQ and cut around about 1,100 Hertz and then added some cool little reverb. And you can't really hear it, but it would sound like this if it was louder. So after we did that, we moved over, went to a piano. We just copied the chords from the main melody and this is what it sounds like. But yeah, just really pretty chords. And then what we did was we just reversed them and chopped them up, put them backwards. So it's still the same chord progression, but it just sounds reversed, if that makes sense. And uh, it's kind of quiet, but you can hear it a little bit. We ended up going to the gas station at some point and somebody screaming across the street at a metro. It was some lady and she was just screaming. I didn't really get to capture that, but I tried to. 
yeah you can't really hear anything but just knowing that i captured like the moment and that feeling in general is cool not to like put her out or expose her or whatever but you know just that feeling or whatever capturing that was cool after that we moved over as you can see the vocals are a bit different here we did chop them up and then uh kind of added some automations or whatever Then after that, we went to the piano and we uh, we were like, you know, the piano sounded cool, but it just didn't really fit the vibe. So we uh, took the chords, moved them about a bar back, maybe half a bar back. Yeah, half a bar back. And then we just kind of strummed them, just all S strummed them. And then uh, we added some cool effects to those. We added halftime comeback kid, which is one of my favorite delays because of this filter right here. I know a lot of delays have this like high cut, low cut filter thing, but this one just has worked the best in my opinions, just sounded the best to me. So I just come back to comeback kid a lot that's crazy i come back to come back that's crazy uh we also added some reverb and then uh yeah that's what it sounds like just sounds beautiful and it's so distant that it's not taking up too much space or anything sounds good after we did that we found this cool little sound right here sounds a little futuristic we just copied the chords from the main melody so we added a cool meta filter preset called guitar wamolo i think and then we used comeback kit again but we turned down the mix a bit and uh that's what it sounds like And yeah, it just adds a cool little texture to it. So next we found this cool arpeggiator and all of these sounds are from my boys, Banks and Analog Lab. It's like the loophole, loophole two, Astral. I think all of those are by my boy, Eli Brown and Lewis Flynn. I think there's like one more person. I can't remember his name. So this is the arpeggiator sound we found. And it's how it sounded before we added effects. So we panned it to the left a little bit, turn it down, and then we added these cool effects. Halftime, we added that. A little stereo just to turn it up a little bit. I might turn it up a little more, I'm not gonna lie. And then uh, we added a cool EQ to take out the lows just so nothing's clashing, you know, just give everything its own space. So I think that's about it for the video. Comment some video ideas below in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. New kits on the way. I'm getting back in my melody bag, as you can see. And uh, yeah, new kit coming soon with my boy Zens. And I'm going to catch you guys later.